Hello, Tauruses. Welcome to your love reading for November 2022. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorder or live reading. Just send me an email, DM, or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Tauruses? For love for November 2022, what do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground? We come closer to universe and closer to divine. Any messages you have will be greatly appreciated, and we thank you. What do you see? What do they need to know? Any messages, please, for Tauruses will be greatly appreciated. We thank you. What are the love energies that Taurus passed out of prior to November 2022? We have the King of Coins in the upright. Uh, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And in that spread, I'll have something you do not know about them. In addition to if they're seeing or interested in somebody else, we had the eight of cups in the reverse, um, for love energies for November in my playlist, 2023 sun moon re readings continue to come out. Put your requests in the comments, see if they rang true for, I mean, <laughs> put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. Check out your 2022 to see if they rang for you. Wow. That rhymes. Um, we end on the Knight of Cups and the Upright. Uh, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. That's always appreciated. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot to add the Knight of Cups and the Upright is the energies of uh, love energies of November going out into December. So I'm going to tell you all that I believe this is a reconciliation spread um, right off the bat. And the reason why is that I feel like with the King of Coins and the Upright energies prior to November, um, you have kind of decided, you know what? I want stability. Um, this is what I want. I'm not settling for it. And that's it. Um, I feel as though this might've been the reason why you exited a previous relationship. They couldn't give you what you wanted the way that you wanted it. Uh, you kind of told them and then they might've said, well, I can't give you that. Or you might've said, hey, if you can't give me that, then you have to leave. But I really think um, prior to November, you're realizing that this is you. This is, um, you know, uh, the skin that you're comfortable in. This is what you want, a long-term, a mature relationship. And you're not gonna kind of compromise in, re in regards to that. So I do feel, you know, you're kind of either putting your foot down or you're seeking that out um in november with eight of cups in reverse i see a pr someone returning back to you um saying hey you know what i thought about what you said i thought about what you want and i decided i think i can do it there really is a better out there uh taurus is the one for me um i've decided that i'm going to put in the work and try to give you what you want um be a little bit careful of that um part of me for some of you i'm feeling as though this person uh just is being uh lazy or this person just um it, because you're so familiar they don't want to put the work in with anybody else so they might kind of do the same thing that they've done before but take that with a grain of salt because for others of you it could actually be uh that this person has gotten their priorities in order and they're really going to take you seriously in november uh, moving forward, things are great. I mean, this person, it's almost like a romance all over again. It's almost like uh, you you two, um, it's like you met for the first time again. You know, wine, flowers, picnics, uh, lots of uh, sweeping you off your feet. Um, you know, they're behaving as the, you know, the person that you've always wanted. Um, so there's a really deep emotional connection being forged. Um, as you move out of November into December, but again, check, I would check these these person's intentions. I would check to make sure that they know what they're talking about because the uh, Knight of Cups in the upright usually uh, is not a person who, he's a short-lived kind of uh, person. He's very romantic, all about it in the moment. Um, but then, you know, things kind of dwindle off or he kind of moves on to his next conquest. So um, just make sure that, um, that uh you know you, you you get assertion uh that this time around they're actually going to uh perform as they should or meet your expectations why is the king of queens here in the upright for love energies prior to what is this person what is this energy yeah you want to work on love with the eight of pentacles in the upright you're saying you know i'm willing to put in the work i'm really willing to work very hard i'm very willing to learn from a relationship um who wants to do it with me basically uh knight of pentacles in the upright um, between the Knight of Pentacles, the Upright, and the Three of Wands in the Upright, I see you surveying things. Um, Knight of Pentacles, to me, talks about you being very caught, you were being very cautious in your approach about who you're going to choose next time. And the Three of Wands in the Upright um, is you checking out all the possibilities before you and figure, knowing that you have a lot of um, options available to you, just figuring out which one you're going to choose and, um, you know, which one is the way to go, I feel. Um, 
a, a little bit sedentary with the three of wands and the upright. The guy isn't really doing any action. He's just surveying things and figuring things out. But I think you, again, it all kind of feeds into knowing what you want and expecting what you want. Um, why is the Eight of Cups here in the reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Uh, okay, th this person is really, really trying with you. I mean, they're coming back and, and they're they're doing whatever they can to kind of, um, you know, um, kind of get you to pay attention, kind of get you to, um, you know, uh, be on board with this plan that they have. Um, it's almost like they're trying to please, to please you, placate you, you know, give you what you want. I feel like they are kind of overdoing it. So again, if that's for some of you, I would be careful. Um, if they're pouring it on a little thick, there's a reason for that. Um, I would be careful also because I'm seeing the Ace of Wands in reverse, which is an indication that it might be a little bit of a cyclical relationship where everything um, typically seems like it's really great in the beginning and there's fire and brimstone and all that fantastic stuff and sparks. I shouldn't say brimstone. I think that's a reference to hell, but and sparks and things like that. Um, but just as quickly, it'll die down or uh, this person could, um, you know, be all about it. And then it ends up being a false start and, and it lacks the energy to kind of perpetuate. And I would also be cautious because the Nine of Cups are reverse indicates somebody who always puts their their selves first um and and not, to me there's a difference between selfish and self-interest okay to me it's okay to have self-interest you know because it's for some people um they need to look out for themselves so that they can take care of other people or do what they need to do uh selfishness is a totally different thing it's when you're just um putting things before everybody else just because you can you know and i'm getting a little um a little hint of that with the nine of cups in reverse their happiness comes first their needs their wants kind of come first and you may find find out that their intentions aren't um you know what they say they are now i am also going to say that i don't necessarily think this person's being malicious i think they have the best of intentions they just don't have the capabilities of following through so they probably really really do want things to work in some cases you know um but you know they they just they just aren't being very honest with themselves in terms of what they're capable of doing and their level of maturity when it comes to uh, healthy relationships. Why is the Knight of Cups here in the upright? But it seems like it's kind of a good go here. Um, ew, Hermit card in reverse. Hermit card in reverse is the card of Virgo for those of you. Okay, Hermit card in reverse, Queen of Wands in the reverse. And we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so this does kind of lead me to believe that once this person, you know, the 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 you know um, dancing around with you and all the the love, the romance and titillation and all of that stuff, um, I feel as though with the Hermit card in reverse, um, that then uh, right afterwards is ghost. They disappear. They ghost you. They don't have any time for you. Um, you don't hear from them again or what have you. Or they withdraw. They isolate. Um, you know, cut you off. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to cause you to feel really uh, kind of inferior, not very good about yourself. You're going to start, you know, you took another blow to your confidence. So you're going to start questioning, um, gosh, you know, what's wrong with me? Why is this always happening? Remember, this is not a you problem. This is a them problem. Um, you know, it has no reflection on you whatsoever. I think you're doing the right thing. Um, this person just doesn't know what they want. Um, and, and they're just kind of pulling you into that um, into that with them, you know, while they're deciding what they want. Um, and then I see um, that what happens is you you actually, you know, make the choice again to say, hey, you know what, I'm better off by myself. Um, this person tends to drag me down. I'm going to be social, go out with friends, see what's kind of out there for me, um, you know, rebuild my spirit, um, you know, forgive this person for how they are and I totally move on from this. So, I mean, while it is a reconciliation story, it might not be the ending that you necessarily want. Um, if I were you, I would stay Stick to your guns and stick to what you want in terms of a commitment and a long-term relationship. So that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Email, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the video link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And in that spread, I'll have something you do not know about them. In addition to if they're interested in or seeing somebody else in my playlist, your 2023 Sun Moon readings that are still coming out. Check out your 2022. See if they bring true for you. Look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnett. I'll see you in the Vimeo. Bye.